everybody. Welcome back to Is It Cuck, your favorite cuck review podcast. I'm your host, Florian Cuxler, joined as always by the Weekend Warrior. Hello, everybody. It's Cuckamania. Cuckamania's run wild, ladies and gentlemen. And Game Squid on YouTube, everyone. <laughs> I am Cucky and Jimmy. Hey, hey, everybody. Yep. We promised long ago, after we watched the Karen movie, that the three of us would reconvene one month later to watch the Cuck movie. Uh, I believe it has been three months. What happened? Uh, what do you mean, what happened? Like, in between that or... Uh, Why or did it take us so long? Because I, I figured we would all be so excited after the, the height of Karen to really come back together and, and review an equally great film. I, I, I was think, excited. <laughs> I, yeah, I was excited. I, I just think internally we all knew that it was going to be bad. <laughs> well, you might say I, that, I but... Uh, before, and uh, I still think it's great, okay? Yeah, Jesus. a certain squid might have given this a perfect 5 out of 5 star review on Letterboxd. So maybe, uh, maybe oh, we damn. should let Florian begin. Florian, what is this movie about? Because I imagine the vast majority of listeners have never even heard of this movie. Well, it's a movie about mental illness. We, we, we have our main character who is good at literally nothing. And he, he won't even be accepted by the army because he is so violently insane. And so we, we follow him on his journey as he discovers himself and his sexuality, as well as his <laughs> uh, political calling. Uh, pretty sure he was straight, though, so I don't think there was any sort of, like, of soul-searching. <laughs> this movie is uh, the ultimate straw man of, like, what a liberal person thinks a conservative person is, and they take all of the conservative stereotypes and dial them up to 11 and, and put them into one, you know, big straw man character, and then they also have uh, Hispanic people jizz on his face to really like, I guess to show <laughs> oh. I don't know it's, uh, th there's a lot to dive into much like with Karen, I think we should go through this whole movie beginning to end so that people oh. can really get a taste not of cum <laughs> a taste of the sure. cuck yeah, make sure to mention every time he masturbates, oh yeah, my god this movie <laughs> is, yeah about 40 this movie's two hours long um, about 40 of those minutes is, is the main character masturbating in his room, masturbating in the, the bathroom at the grocery store he works at. Just a lot of jerking off. Uh, another 40 minutes is just straight up cuckold porn, like uncensored. You get to see these people having sex. So this movie is yeah. basically a porno, which I found porn. to be uh, a little uncomfortable. <laughs> yeah. And then the rest, and then the other 40 minutes is of the character, like, just being a generic uh, stereotype of, uh, like, a hateful conservative, and he, he's like a white nationalist, he's a fascist, he, he hates he's abortion, everything. you know, every stereotype you can think of fits into this one man. Oh, did he mention abortion? I must have missed that part. He did have a bumper sticker that said abortion is murder. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yes. I, I, I guess I wasn't sure if those were all his or if they were his mom's. I think he agrees with them anyway, so... Yeah, I guess so. And uh, yeah, also this character, uh, he says the N-word a lot. Oh, that was funny. <laughs> <laughs> when he starts to just unload the N-word, the gamer word. Yeah. Yeah, Florian, as a game yourself, did you feel uh, represented by those scenes? <laughs> I felt what it would be like if I was... If I had gone down the wrong path, you know? <laughs> I couldn't have <just laughs> ended up all like that, you know? <laughs> Cautionary tale, huh? <laughs> yeah, I mean, I still do the masturbating. Maybe he he just doesn't do enough of it, you know. Maybe that's the problem. He doesn't coom enough. <laughs> yeah, clearly. <laughs> He needs to come more. <laughs> yeah, would it be better if this movie, instead of being called Cuck, was called Coomer? Because I don't think the title is accurate. The main character is actually not a cuck at any point in the film. Um, the porn star's husband is literally a cuck. He's paying yeah, other men to fuck his wife. I don't think the main character is a cuck, and in fact, he he just plays a cuck in these pornos. So he's he's an actor, and he doesn't even uh enjoy it really. Sounds yeah, like some cuck coping. So. <laughs> yeah. I, mean, I, I guess he technically doesn't enjoy it. Yeah, I guess. Does that make think, him not a cuck? Oh, maybe. How, how would he a, be a cuck if he doesn't... He never has a girlfriend. You can't get cuck if he, you're single. No, that's not what cucking means. I think he's spiritually cucked. 
Like, <laughs> he's got the spirit. He really wants to fuck the, the, the lady whore, but he doesn't. He's just masturbating in front of her while she's getting fucked. So in that regard, he's getting cocked. I mean, they are still cooming together. But, you know, <laughs> I, I kinda, yeah, I kind of get what Monkey's going with it, like the technical definition. He's not really like, like, okay, guys, for those who don't know in the audience that don't know what cucking is, first of all, good for you. And, and secondly, it comes from like the cuckoo, right? Where, where it lays an egg somewhere and then the, the bird, the little cuckoo chick becomes older and it kicks out the eggs, so some other bird is taking care of the cuckoo chick. So it's kind of applying that to, huma- to humans. It's like you're getting cucked because some other chick is, some other guy is laying on your chick. Yeah, I believe in the modern day, uh, a cuckold is somebody who gets sexual gratification out of watching their significant other have sex with somebody else, and more often than not, somebody who is uh, maybe manlier than them, uh, maybe of a darker complexion, perhaps. Uh, Jack Murphy. <laughs> oh, sorry. Where did that come from? Oh, <laughs> I'm sorry. Where did that come? From? I just cuffed randomly. So now that we have uh, a general idea of uh, what we're about to dive oh. into, maybe we should start at the beginning. Oh, well, right. actually, I, I just feel like he, he's definitely, like, a, at least at first, he's very interested in watching them having sex. He just didn't realize that he would get humiliated so much, but I, I think he likes it on some extent, so I, I think it actually fits, kind of. Well, in the you know? 40 minutes of him masturbating in his bedroom, uh, he's always watching MILF porn, and this yeah. woman is, like, 20 years older than him, so he, he's just accustomed to jerking off while watching an old woman get fucked. I don't think that makes him a cuck. I still think oh, he's a cuck, you, though. Like, like, like <laughs> you, I mean, he like, wanted to watch it in person. Like, he. he but it's not he his woman. Like, How's that cucking? No, like he. No, it's like, it's a point. spiritual. It's a spiritual cucking. Because he has a crush on her. It, 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 it yeah, doesn't need to be, like. It like he's frustrated. A woman. You could. It, you'll still. You'll still get the fetish if you're just watching someone else do it in front of you. You think everybody who watches porn is a cuck? Yes. Well, I get. Well, thank God I <laughs> no, have not looked not. at porn in years. It looks like you're yeah, the only cuck here, Florian. <laughs> Big time. <laughs> uh, so yeah, the mo- maybe not. And I did watch this after uh, drinking three hard Mountain Dews, and it was one in the morning. So I might Uh-oh. have forgotten a lot of the film. <laughs> but let's let's try to go through it kind of in chronological order. We meet our main Kinda. character, Ronnie. <laughs> Ronnie is a a 29-year-old white guy, so not quite young. They're trying to say this is like a young white man disillusioned by the world. 29's not that young, right? Yeah, it's not that young. He wants to join the military, but he's an overweight, mentally ill 29-year-old. Oh, I wonder why they don't want him. They want 18-year-olds who are malleable and will do whatever their fucking general tells them to. I don't know if that's true. I'm pretty sure they, they accept, like... Any age? No, not any age, but definitely that age. And like, it's pretty it's just clear. Not yeah, it's pretty clear that what what held him back was that he was like violently insane. It, he he was. Since when does the, the military th- not want somebody who wants to you know oh, they f- commit never violence? That, actually, they've always wanted like, it. It's all they want. Well, well, you need to be in control, and he is not in control, yeah. as we see when he when he chokes his mother. And, and Whoa, it's, spoiler it's, alert. spoilers! Oh my god, Florian! <laughs> oh my Shit, god! Really. Well, anyways, it, <laughs> like, it's it's specifically stated that he failed the psych evaluation, and that's why yeah, he, he couldn't do it. Yeah, so you've got to be bad. really nuts to fail oh, the, yeah. the U.S. military's psych evaluation. Well, I, that, I don't that. think that's true because, like, you, you've seen the the movie Full Metal Jacket, right? It, yeah. It, it's pretty dangerous to give these complete lunatics guns, so there's got to be some level of of making Evaluate. sure that they're not that keeping. Bad. Yeah. Yeah, I, I think it's uh, a bit what Monkey said earlier that we got this 29 dissolution guy. He just got uh, denied by the army, and I find it funny that. He's, he's, he's in the military forums and he's like typing, can anyone help me please? And the, people are just laughing at him. <laughs> That's just <laughs> kind of sad. Like, you're oh, too bad, bro. 
shrug. <laughs> yeah, this 29 year old, uh, you know, he's a white nationalist. He hates immigration. He hates minorities. You know, any uh -huh. hateful thing you can think of. He, he's constantly talking about how he hates fags, too. Uh, he lives <laughs> with his elderly, sickly mother, and he's constantly stealing her checkbook to buy things, uh, you know, stealing her money. And, uh, oh. you know, if only uh, a certain liberal president would have uh, given that old woman health care, maybe none of this would have happened. Rip. Ripperoni. Am well, I right, Florian? Was, I yeah. mean, she was always, like, also really fascist, so I, I, it probably would have happened anyways. I don't know. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> what do you guys think? And we, This is skipping a little bit ahead, but it really doesn't matter. Mm -hmm. What do you guys think <laughs> of uh, this movie having the same exact scene from Joker where he has to give his mom a bath, but this movie goes above and beyond and like has weird incestual undertones oh, yeah like it shows this old woman's disgusting saggy tits and uh, this movie has a lot I of like tits it. in it by the way but like she's like grabbing her son's hand and putting his hand on her tits and stuff it's really disturbing he liked it uh, she liked it rather she I liked know. it i don't i mean he, he isn't a yeah. milf porn but i i don't know about <laughs> i don't think he yeah, cared he for his mom that much I think he was going to well, throw up. <laughs> well, we, we have this very helpful insight from him where he says, Oh, God, I swear she's enjoying this. Disgusting. Yeah. And so we... we oh, we yeah, that's funny. Not, not that, it, yeah. That's funny because it's it's kind of redundant at that point because she, she was, like, cooming when she... <laughs> Can I just say, though, like, uh, that's, um... Uh, this... I'd like this is foreshadowing for my point later, but I think this movie had several good ideas, but it didn't follow up on any of them and just mash them together. And I think that's one one possible idea is that um, we don't really see Ronnie growing up. We just see him already fucked up. And I think that would have been a more interesting movie than than what we watched. That that's just yeah. The, one thing. The, the impression I got was that the writer-director, who was the same guy, uh, he's super liberal, and at some point, somebody online called him a cuck, and he got so fucking butt-mad that he decided he's gonna make a whole movie proving that the conservatives are, in fact, the true cucks. And that's oh why <laughs> the movie really lacks any subtlety, and the character lacks dimension, really. It, it is just a caricature of uh, everything that this writer thinks the enemy is uh and i think you're oh. right wiccan warrior this could have been a great film it could have been up there with like taxi driver and joker if they would have just I, I, had a little more respect for the character yeah Can you imagine uh, I, if this movie was well, like as revered as taxi driver and just that would be good that would be yeah. unironically funny yeah like and, a modern day good. taxi driver yeah it, it, it had the seeds for that i Funny you should mention that, Monkey. I was talking about this with our, our favorite cuck, uh, Kino Corner. <laughs> <laughs> he, he, his, his theory was that somebody, some anime avatar online, shit talk the writer director, and yeah. he, he did the movie. So it, you're, you're kind of confirming his suspicion, right? That, that he, it actually happened. That is the impression I got from the film. <laughs> <laughs> oh my. Yeah, because it's like it's. Like you're right. He has no respect for for Mr. Cuck, for for Ronnie, because he's just like he's so unlikable. That that's why I struggled watching the, like the first thirty minutes until he dropped the gamer words. That's when it, the, the movie really picks up. Because he's that, just so he unlikable. Could finally relate to him, right? Yeah. Yeah. yeah exactly. <laughs> like, well, yeah. Exactly. It's like, oh my god, this is so boring. And this is a character uh, that in real life does exist to some extent, not as extreme as this character, um, hopefully. Mm -hmm. But in real life, that is a problem, that there are, you know, young white men who feel like the world is leaving them behind and that every other social group is, uh, you know, getting propelled forward while he's getting held back. And it, they're full of anger. They're lonely. Uh, the most bullshit scene in the movie is that he goes on a dating website and a hot chick agrees to go on a date with him within yeah, one yeah, second. Yeah, exactly. Like, like, okay, clearly uh, we just left reality because this guy would never get a single match on any dating site, let alone an actual date. No, I, I don't uh, believe. And an actual hobby. Florian, not everybody has millions of dollars to spend on these no, fucking dude, dates. I, I went on, on dates be way before I was rich, okay? In fact, it's gotten harder now. If this movie. <laughs> wait, no, I guess this actually did play in modern day, so I guess it, it was. But it could still happen, okay? I, I went Unlikely. on dates with, with hot women where I, I didn't have money, okay? It happened. 
may, may, maybe the, the hot lady was just like thinking, oh, maybe I could get some free coffee from this weirdo. Maybe, maybe something. Oh yeah, like that, that is know. what no, happened no, they, ultimately. That, that's a possible. No, come yeah. on, guys. <laughs> don't be don't be red pill incels, okay? This but, movie did oh, have some good red pill points in it, like when they said yeah, that uh, you know the top twenty percent of women are no no it was eighty percent of women only want the top twenty percent of men. I was like, okay, yeah, that's a pretty good point. Yeah, uh, yeah, based I, I bet, in red pills. Like, I said. Uh, 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 yeah, you like that fascist point? Well, how's that it's, fascist? It's, it's just true. Well, wasn't it the fascist YouTuber who said it? No, it was um, one of the big dating sites released all of their data on like what men and women are choosing, and like this, it's not even made up. It's literally a statistical fact. No, but, I'm but sorry that it, it triggers you. I mean, where was it displayed in the movie, though? Uh, he's watching right. a bunch of uh, YouTubers like throughout the movie who are preaching the conservative gospel, the red pill gospel, and that's yeah, well, like voiceover. Okay. Can I just say though, like when he was trying to o cold open the lady in front of the bus, and, and the and the lady just shuts him down, and, and I oh oh poor cock, of course it's gonna happen, bro. I'm cringing with you. Then he comes back and says you didn't have to be a bitch. That was so funny. <laughs> like, <laughs> Yeah, if a woman is uh, sitting at the bus stop with her headphones in, maybe just don't try to hit on her. Maybe yeah, just exactly. leave her alone. Yeah. Did you so, learn something from this movie, Florian? Yeah, yeah, dude. Did, did you learn anything? I've almost never hit on a per on a woman in real life, so I oh. guess I didn't really learn anything. Oh. But no, I mean, honestly, you, you guys seem to think that this, this red pill stuff is all true, but... Like hot I'm just women saying that one confirmed statistic is true. Can I? Like hot yes, women sir. do what go on dates stuff? with with random people, and also I believe you, women, Florian. I believe hot women you. Women might have different tastes too. Okay. Okay. It's just. Wait, that, are you saying like, that women are like individual people, like men are? Yeah, I mean oh. that seems to be pretty hard to grasp. For you. <laughs> but you know, they, oh, wait, they'll wait. just, they'll Florian, just are go you on dates sometimes. Okay, and and uh, sure, maybe it won't work out. Probably. But they still go. It's not that unrealistic, okay? So, okay. Florian, are you saying that Cuck is a masterpiece? <laughs> <laughs> he did say that on Letterboxd. Oh, yeah. Well, I do oh, believe like... that, yes. It is, uh, <laughs> it, it is definitely one of my favorite movies, and I thoroughly enjoyed watching it again, okay? It's certainly a movie. Yes, we can agree on that. <laughs> it's, it's, it's actually fairly unique. You don't usually see people that are just so so trash at, at what at everything and 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 they they mess up their life so severely but it's not because of drugs it's not because of of gang violence it's just because he's just such a such a piece of shit you know <laughs> you don't see that often okay but so so back to my point earlier that i forgot to finish mm -hmm. um the movie does paint a portrait of a stereotype of somebody who does exist in real life but instead of offering an actual solution like, okay, these people exist, what what realistically can we do to help them? Instead, the movie just doubles down and says they're unfixable, they're pure evil, yeah. and they're going to get a gun and kill everybody. Yeah. I think in relation to that, Simeon, it, I, I, in my notes, I put, that's one, that's one possibility. Like, it's possible that someone in this environment could actually become racist because of like, genuine experiences in that neighborhood or while he was growing up well but and his parents are racist too and they yeah they, exactly they put that on him so we don't even get to see that i think that would have been a more interesting more tragic approach to this than just saying oh, we see oh he's things. just a piece of shit i mean we we Let see we see that the father killed himself we see that the mother is extremely racist yeah oh no no what, yeah what i mean for is that i think the movie could have explored that more because that's just like like um instead of mocking this man for existing it yeah. should have shown what led him down what, that what path. Could have, yeah or just explored more of that idea because while there is that creepy creepy mom a uh, fucked up dad that part actually comes at the end almost it's, it's like a hail mary oh this film has a meaning almost <laughs> <laughs> oh my god this is actually well, no, deep that, guys yeah. that's not actually true okay like no the I, meaning, yeah i get the like it he, would be yeah, actually but, clear and the solution too like obviously the problem is that there's like crazy far-right propaganda out there that will make you actually become a lunatic murderer so no, yeah. okay okay let, let me just like d dissuade you of that notion right now because he already is embedded in that thing this is one of in my notes I put out how can someone actually 
how can a disenfranchised person fall into this like uh, internet hate group, right? We already see him participating in that. We don't actually see someone getting tempted, someone getting like uh, coaxed into that environment. He's already part of it. Th- that's one of my f- gripes with it. Like, it's not so much a journey, so much as a window into some fucking racist asshole. And it's yeah, but- and th- it's that interesting. That that alone is not interesting to me. Does does that no, make sense? No, I I think it is interesting because I like, often mm. we we don't start our journey like. Uh, when we're a baby, okay. Often, when we when we wake up to our reality, we, we're already in it, okay. Often, mm-hmm. often these people they already exist, you know. They they already like headed down that path, and they're already pretty far down. But they, they could still be saved. Yeah, but the thing is, uh, the the oh wait, oh my my phone just. just <laughs> I'm sorry. Did no. you guys hear that? I'm no. sorry. That was weird. No. Okay. Uh, but my main point was that um. Yeah. Uh, the thing is, the, the movie doesn't even give him. The movie doesn't even give him that, Florian. It's just he's molded into that already. I don't. I, I would have rather seen him get into that point rather than just oh he's already a piece of shit. That that's my gripe with it. Well, let's keep uh let's keep sailing through this journey of okay, the film. Okay. Uh, he. Spends most of his free time. Uh, he's unemployed, by the way, and he spends all his free time just watching these red pill videos. And he decides yeah. one day he's so sick of these minorities, you know, stinking up his country. He's gonna make his own video. And uh, throughout the film, he, he posts his own little vlogs about how he hates minorities and stuff. And he has like fantasies of becoming the next uh, red pill pundit online and that he's getting yeah. millions of views and he's super famous, but really he's getting like 200 views and the comments yeah. are shitting on him. <laughs> yeah. That part's already impressive though, making a video and getting 200 views instantly yeah, on the channel. Yeah. See, that, that yeah. one's already exaggerated, but like... I mean, yeah, they didn't need to show, like, all the failures <laughs> until he got there. He had to... We, we could skip a little ahead, so that's... Uh, he, fine. uh... There's this elderly woman who he, he keeps uh, running into. Like, he sees her in her garden as he's driving by, and she's got a big, fat ass. Um, and then <laughs> he f- gets a job at the local, uh, you know, mini-mart. To, uh, and yeah. she comes in as a customer, and uh, he he has a crush on this old woman. As soon as he meets her and, and talks to her face to face, he has to go in the bathroom and masturbate <laughs> for some so reason. <laughs> yeah. she's not, but she's not that old. Come on, uh, she's probably like fifty. Yeah, but way yeah, older but, than okay. I would ever fuck. I'll have a what comment for that later. <laughs> about, about how you would fuck Kim when she's fifty. Yeah, from, yeah but Kim looks concept. good compared to this woman. Wait, the one from the porn? Yeah. I don't know, I thought she was fine. Oh well. This woman has more wrinkles than my ball sack. What? No way! She had my beautiful body. Oh, I don't know. I mean, at least... Yeah, yeah no, I definitely. Guess. She's at least skinny, I don't know. Yeah, at least. I, kinda, I agree with Sorian on the body aspect, yeah. I was but thinking I more of her face. I have more respect for women than the two of you, clearly. I, I never looked at her body once. I, Oh, right. Okay. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> the face. Wow. Right. That's okay. Sure, bro. Anyway, he uh, one day you know, he's working outside of the mini mart. He's got his hose. I guess his job is to hose down the asphalt for some reason, the concrete. And uh, a couple of guys who were up to no good. And they start making trouble in his neighborhood. That is to say, three black men pull up, and uh, he decides he's gonna <laughs> fuck with them. <laughs> Florian, what exactly does he say to them? Well, at some point he says to, for them to go back to Africa, but I I don't think they, they did literally anything to 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 warrant this. I think they just went and bought something at the store, and then they were about they to were leave. hanging out. They were yeah. loitering, and he was very specific. Yeah. The sign says no loitering, so the only solution it, is committing a hate crime. But they, they were in the store. The, obviously, the parking space is for customers <laughs> of the store. What are yeah, you I'm telling you what the cuck said, not me. 
Why don't you go back to Africa? You heard me, Gamer Ward. You heard me, Gamer. Yeah, he, he went on a, a rant, then he got beat up. Yeah, they beat the oh. fuck out of him. And then his, uh, his Middle Eastern boss comes out to protect him. And he's so angry that the black people beat him up that he starts calling his own boss a Sand uh, Gamer sand Ward. Sand Gamer. Yeah, Sand Gamer. <laughs> sand okay, can gamer. I I have a question. What does Opie mean? I, I, I. That's what triggered him, right? Like, why, why did he, he went like, why'd you call me Opie? I'm like, what does that mean? I, I think <laughs> I it, don't know what... it might be an allusion to being retarded because in Family Guy, there's a, a retarded character called Opie. Oh. Um, also on uh, 4chan, Opie is a fag, so maybe that pissed him oh, okay. off. Okay. Maybe. Oh yeah, the gamer culture. Okay, it makes sense now. But I don't well, know if uh, that's what they meant. Fortune. Yeah, I don't think the black people meant it in that way. <laughs> yeah, oh well. But so he gets fired, and he's like, you know what? I'm gonna follow my dreams. I'm going to this old woman's house, and I'm gonna try to fuck her. But uh oh, she doesn't answer the door. Her big buff husband with a handlebar mustache. I, I don't know if that's handlebar. He has, he has a big epic stash. That's really something I noticed in the movie. The cuck has kind of a weak little baby mustache, and every man yeah. who, who cuckolds him has like a big thick one. Yeah, that's a good point. Like, like I think even the parole officer, right? The pr probation officer, he has like a, sm uh, a respectable mustache. That's right. Right? Um, you're right, you're right. I didn't notice that. And uh, point. long story short, this uh, elderly couple, they make porn together. And they want Ronnie to become the star of their next films uh, to play the woman's cuckold husband and stand there and jerk off in the corner while she fucks a bunch of uh, big black dudes. Which, again, that makes the porn star's husband the cuck and not Ronnie because he's not actually yeah. in a relationship with her. Mm. And uh, that, that leads to about 30 minutes of just us watching this woman have sex while Ronnie masturbates, and that's really a, a big chunk of the movie. Yeah, it's gratuitous almost. <laughs> like, it was well, they, they, probably the most they, they, uncomfortable film set since a Serbian film. Can I, can I say something? Yeah. Like, yeah. during his spiritual cockating, right, he gets money, and he manages to buy a, 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 a little revolver. Like... I, I, I laughed at this part. Like he was so he was so happy, like shooting at the range. Like mm -hmm. got him, got him. And then when the, when the target zooms in, like he he barely hit the target. That was so funny <laughs> to me. Yeah, yeah. Like I think it's it's hitting. It's just shitting on the guy again. Like the writer director has no respect for the character he's created. That's just oh. funny. And and after that, okay, I'll just I'll just say this point, Jim. Uh, after that. But even he he goes out of the target range, right? And he's wearing the military gear, and and they were like, and the owner and one of the guys was like, "Oh, you're a military person. Where did you serve?" And then he he went like, um, "Afghanistan. Every every tour in Afghanistan. That's a Gulf War uniform you're wearing, son." And then he had the, he had like the biggest. His eyes were like popping out of his sockets and he ran so fast but in an awkward way that was so funny like yeah he does have an awkward shit. run that it continuously yeah, like appears a, in the film it's very funny it's like a looney tunes laugh when <laughs> when he was running away whoa, 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 time to go it's, it's when so you mentioned the shooting range that reminded me at the beginning when he's just watching porn there's a porno of like a pretty hot topless chick like you get to see oh, her yeah. tits and everything and she's got like an AR-15 and she's shooting at a cardboard cutout of Barack Obama uh, that's pretty based <laughs> if anybody can find that porno I'd love you to send it my way <laughs> just a hot chick topless shooting a gun at Obama I mean yeah I could see uh, why he was uh, uh, radicalized <laughs> yeah he's like that's real <laughs> well, uh, well, you, you don't think that's a real video somewhere Yes, it could be. But even even at the shooting range, he he pretends that like the cardboard cutout is like a black man, just because it's yeah. like a black silhouette. So he's just like, yeah, I got you, got you, gamer. Yeah, he, <laughs> so funny. Like, <laughs> yeah, just a little flesh wound there. Yeah. <laughs> so he he keeps making these cuckold porns. He's getting paid good money for it with this couple. Uh, but uh oh, one day 
they take it a step too far and they want the the Latinx, you know, we have to be respectful, the Latinx man. Uh, they want him to jizz all over Ronnie's face, and he does. And that's a, the final straw. You know, Ronnie's not mm-hmm. having a good time anymore. This is not a happy cuck. Um, Florian, <laughs> in your review... You made it seem like he, you know, was exploring his the cuck side of his sexuality, but I think it's pretty clear he did not actually enjoy that, and he wanted yeah. nothing to do with it. Well, I said his cuck I didn't, I didn't say he enjoyed it, but yeah, I, I mean, it, he clearly really, really enjoyed having a job, like making any kind of money, really was really good for him, and <laughs> and and so I, I really enjoyed the. The journey of him just becoming more and more emasculated in order to to get this money. Oh uh, yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. See, that's another thing uh, I want to point out. Like that could have been that whole concept of a man spiraling down, just because he, the the girl he likes is actually just using him, and he's like spiritually cocked. I think that would have been a better movie. It's just anyway. It's it's another side point I have. Well, about to, it, to make it up for him, because they still need this guy to star in these <laughs> cuck porns. Uh, yeah, the, they need the cuck. <laughs> the uh, the elderly woman does some crystal meth and then uh, gives him a pity fuck, and he yeah. he lasts about forty seconds, which I thought was pretty good too. <laughs> it's pretty funny. Yeah, <laughs> yeah but they just, didn't they just continue that? Oh. Hmm? Sorry, Florian. Go ahead. He just comes in her real quick. I, I mean, it, it may have been like five seconds even that he's actually been in here, and, and then he's already done. And hey, that's she, a world clearly, record as far as I'm concerned. And she clearly didn't enjoy it. Yeah, she anything. did not like it. <laughs> yeah, it was a pity fuck. Like, oh, I guess I have to fuck him, or else we'll have to find the new cock, something like that. But then she also, I mean, early she she tells him that that they're a team and and. Like there's some <laughs> kind of connection there, so so maybe uh-huh. maybe the cuckoldry actually is real, you know? Maybe he really did, like, connect with her on some level, and and then that was shattered when, when it, when she turns out that she was really only using him. Poor guy. Oh no, poor guy. Well, eventually he he decides he wants to be with this woman. He wants them to run away together, but clearly she's not into that. And yeah. uh, her husband starts threatening him, saying, you know, that's my woman. She might have fucked you for free, but you still owe me money. And uh, he does not like that at all. And it, it eventually comes to a head where he decides he's going to take matters into his own hands and uh, take his pistol and uh, kill everybody. Like, he's going to kill the husband and, and take the woman and run off. You're putting a, a lot oh, wait, there. Well, what you am I skipping? You uh, skipped the... Uh, wait, wait, okay, okay. He... he Okay, first off, you skipped the fun part where, yeah. you know, the thing where he was using his mother's checks. Yeah. Oh, uh, yeah. That was, that was like, oh, they, they, after the pity fuck and by the pool, they, we cut to the bedroom, right? So it's implied that they continue. And then Big Daddy, g- g- God Baldy guy is there and he's like, I don't like this, son. Why are you cucking me like this? And, and he wants to get paid, right? So... He asks, do you take checks? Yes, I do. And then he pays it via mother, the mother's check checkbook. And then at some point in the movie after that, the mother is called by the bank and says, Hey, did, did you pay for computer services, ma'am? And she's like, no, I didn't. And she finds out. And the funniest scene in the movie, <laughs> she runs like a motherfucker with her inhaler and her and her walker, and she's running towards Candy. It's like, you harlot, you slept with my son. What did you do to my son, you whore? That was so funny. And then, at some point, like he was invited by, I think, like the the what's what's like like the the big right wing popular guy he was invited oh, yeah. oh that's yeah John, i, I yeah. did forget that his his internet idol you know the the nick yeah. fuentes of this universe he uh, yeah. he goes to a rally he meets up he has lunch with him at a diner and he's just starstruck you know he's meeting his hero yeah. and ultimately yeah that does uh it, it backfires in his face yeah it does because at some point this is where it all falls apart for him he Someone in his like YouTube channel just links the cuck porn. Like, 
Oh my god, guys, check out the cock. Oh, this is embarrassing. And then, excuse me, I think, um, I'm just gonna steal what Kino Corner said. I don't think right wingers would like admit online to watching cock porn. <laughs> Like well, that's, that's a good point, the point he made. Yeah, but the point is like he's a faker, right? Like, oh, this guy is a fake, and then uh, Nick Fuentes analog shits on him after. Yeah, he, he to makes him. a YouTube it, video saying, "Yeah, this guy was a stalker. He, th I thought he was part of us, but really, he must be infiltrating us oh. to make us look bad. Cause look, he's in cuck porn." He's a libtard cuck, or something <laughs> like that. Yeah, and I and think then, that was the final straw that broke the camel's back. And then when he comes back. Mom is there, the probation officer is there. It's like, what did you do with my checkbook, you thief? And then he gets taken into prison. And then everything, uh, he gets bailed out by some guy like that showed up earlier in the his film. His old and friend. Comes back. Yeah, his old friend. Who actually had some good advice. Uh, like what he said, like, stop being in your head and you'll drown in, in, in the puss puss. <laughs> I think he has some points there. I, I think he has some, like, that's better advice than whatever the fuck he's gotten. Yeah, on a, then I don't he's... know if that even worked out, actually. that I think that advice actually happened before the date, and I, and I, it clearly led to, to him saying all the wrong things. Yeah. Right? <laughs> oh, I but, think that's uh, a user error. <laughs> yeah. I mean, no. That was I clearly it, uh, a, a liberal uh, woman, and, and, and she did not <laughs> want uh, some kind of red, po red pill fucking macho guy. I paid for your coffee. You should stay here and listen to me rant. I can't yeah, th that's Somebody like an that. example of the writer either having no respect for the character or just genuinely believing this is how people behave. Uh, I don't think there's any situation where like the guy goes on a date with a woman he just met and buys her a coffee and like he's like getting violent and grabbing her because she isn't into him and he's like oh no but i paid for that coffee you owe me sex like that is such a fucking cartoon of uh yeah of a person yeah that's just weird no, and I, it's just I weird i disagree i, I think, think that shit happens and, and it happens on reddit it doesn't happen in real life what no of course it does you've dude. seen this but happen in public before no, dude, no, women nobody get has all the time. Yeah, okay. Yeah, I great. think yes, I, I think what Florian's you point. Yeah, I, believe it, huh? That's. Great. I think it doesn't happen Florian's... in the middle of a coffee shop. It might. Fuck no. Yeah. Like I think I think what Florian's just entertaining the possibility of it happening, which is which might be true. Okay, It'll I'm happen through text that. messages after the date. It's not going to happen in the coffee shop. Yeah, but I think. What what I, I, I've definitely seen women get grabbed in public. Come on, man. Maybe by their mm. actual boyfriend, not just like some random date who bought them a coffee. I mean, it could still happen. I mean, oh my god, I I swear to God, this happened. I'm just gonna say uh, when we were like in line for the Avengers, some some guy slapped his his GF for not buying tickets on time. Oh right? my I bad. Think, I didn't know yeah, that you were there. Yeah. <laughs> yeah I, I was hoping nobody <laughs> saw that. <laughs> uh, anyway. But, but seriously, like, you, you don't really... You, you don't... God. over. You, you underestimate how, how often women get how, into situations like this, okay? It's, or it's, how, how R-worded men can get. Yeah, I think that's yeah. also a possibility. But, Especially when, when you get told that you just have to, like... You, you just have to be dominant, like from that guy. I'm pretty sure that was the gist of what he was saying. So yeah, of course he's gonna. No, no, no think I think he owns her. I think what the guy, I agreed with what the guy said. Like, get out of your head. That that part of this, the 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 like advice talk he had. Yeah, like he, like just just stop thinking about it too much and just get out of your head and you'll be drowning in the puss. I think that was what he said. I'm not <laughs> I'm not sure right now. Do you think he Wait, said something that the the women were the real man or something? No, like no, that? I think I think he said that in the like in the garage, not in the open in the open parking lot when it was sunny. I think. Right. Well, I mean, yeah, he yeah. said it more than once, if we're being real, because that was like his only friend, so he probably heard that more than once. Yeah, but I, I'm just saying I agree with getting out of your head. Okay. Uh, the getting out of your head part of the advice. I think that works wonders. Just be in the moment. Just just talk to the girl. 
And anyway, you'll, you'll be fine. Yeah, now can we anyway, go to the uh, climax of the uh, film? Now that I, I yeah, got okay, us up. Yeah, okay. Now, now you go. Now go, Jim. Well, yeah, what are you trying to say, like, Florian? <laughs> yeah, okay. I'm saying that the real inaccuracy here is that that the alt right people wouldn't have given a shit about his cock porn, okay? Like specifically, <laughs> yeah. if you, we, we know that he had like sex with a with a male fanboy, and nobody gives a shit, okay? All I thought the right he was relentlessly made fun of him. on Twitter. Hmm. It, isn't that like the the real life guy who was caught doing that shit? Like, doesn't he get made fun of nonstop now? Yeah, yeah. Jack, Jack Murphy's a. Uh, uh, a laughing oh. stock. Well, I mean, he's so popular, about... I think, on the right. I mean, I think they... Is he? I think they like, make oh. fun of him now. Yeah, I think he's a joke. Like, because he, huh. he always he always was espousing, like, right-wing values, like, like be in a committed relationship and, and stay single, just start a family, and then he's actually shoving things up his butt. And that's just... <laughs> you, can't, you, you can't go back from that and just pretend to be like oh guys i still espouse those values the yeah i'm still trying at that point if you if, okay i'm just gonna say if you still believe whatever jack murphy's selling you're you're the idiot <laughs> yeah you're the you cuck <laughs> yeah you're the cuck at that point oh yeah the director's the cuck yeah i agree <laughs> damn it wait is jack murphy the character name in the movie no or? that's no, a real no, life jack person murphy's the re oh you don't know him florian jack murphy no. you don't know him Okay, it's, it's, uh, it, uh, okay. J the long, the gist of it is he got exposed online for snapping at a lady. Oh, see, monkey, men can snap online, but he didn't like hold her. It, but, <laughs> yeah. Anyway, he exposed. He got exposed for being a grifter. I. Th that's the gist of it. Uh, so many. Uh, it's. It's. Uh, I can tell you about it after. <laughs> I guess. But yeah. Uh, who do you Who do you hear like making fun of of Nick Fuentes? And is that actually still happening? Because I feel like that would have been over with a long time ago. Oh no, the Nick Fuentes thing that Monkey's talking about that's new. That's like a black light. Oh my god, that's new what? shit. What? No, <laughs> what? really? The new shit? Yeah, there's, that's that's semi new. Do Do you want to get into this now, or do we or do oh, we let brief, Jimmy so. and Oh, very like, briefly, okay? Like the, so, like the Catboy stuff definitely happened like two years ago, Oh, yeah. Right? No, but this is you, okay? Because apparently... Okay, guys, this is this is like hot goss. I mean, take whatever I say with a grain of salt. Because apparently, like, Nick Fuentes is cabal. He's, he's like calling... He likes to call what? Getting into relationships gay. Like, if you like women, <laughs> you're gay. If you like men, you're gay. It's all gay. He's just saying that. But he He's really making some likes, good points. Yeah, he is. But but when he finds out like one of his inner circle is dating, he went to his room and had a black light to see if there's semen stains <laughs> around. Yeah, just to see if if they're if he's fucking the girl in the in in the in the room, which is fucking weird, right? So and and that's the joke of him right now. I don't get I this that's... black light shit are people really just shooting their jizz all over rooms yeah that's, that's i reserve that for inside of the pussy yeah what or, the fuck or you know or you know you you, you take the, the condom you throw it out no no Afterwards, condoms yeah. are for real cucks you're gonna get cucked um, by a little piece of latex okay. no thank you <laughs> okay okay <laughs> Literally not Black since Light. I was 19. <laughs> Black Light doesn't even work that way. It just highlights any body fluid. So like. Oh really? I didn't even know that. Then he's. I mean, he's I even... think so. There's so, nothing. I mean, if it's going to so highlight even sweat. <laughs> wait, yeah, monkey. Wait, guys, can you just imagine Nick Fuentes like running through the room with the black lights, like? Oh my god, it's everywhere! It's like, <laughs> yeah. With this, like, saliva and other shit, yeah. like, oh my god! Yeah. His whole face would be glowing because of sweat. Yeah. yeah, for sure. Anyway, we need to wrap up this movie, because I don't want to go way over time like we did before. But, uh, when his idol, his, his red-pilled idol is mocking him in a video, and he's the laughing stock of the internet, he uh, decides, you know... I'm going to be the man, I'm going to take control, I'm going to paint my face all black, you know, go full blackface and grab a gun, only natural. He calls up the elderly porn star woman and says, hey, let's run away together. She says, fuck no. So he's like, okay, I guess you get to die too. And uh, he breaks into their house, he shoots the man and says, who's the cuck now? And that's like the big epic moment of the film. 
Yeah, but he says it in such a pussy way. <laughs> like, who's the cuck now? <laughs> like, and, and and the thing is, th- the guy he shot was literally the cuck the entire time. So yeah, I, I don't even think it makes any point. sense. Yeah. And it, he kills then the he woman. A lot. He, uh, oh yeah, this is. Wait, wait. This was this is what I wanted to point out earlier, monkey. Like he takes out the wig and he goes, "What the fuck?" Like. Did you have a problem with the wig? I didn't understand that part. Like he, yeah. he, he got surprised. Like you were wearing a wig the whole time. Like that—that that was your trigger moment, really. <laughs> I'm telling you, this woman's pretty old. You guys didn't believe me. Yeah, but that's his. That's why he got mad. Anyway, that's just weird. Yeah. I mean, I thought she looked better without the wig, but okay. <laughs> Uh, oh yeah, we forgot he uh, he kills his mom before this whole thing starts, which is you yeah. know, typical. These uh, these shooters usually like kill their grandma or their mom before they go out on the big shooting spree. Um, he he ends up like at the the quickie mart that he used to work at, and he shoots his old boss. And then uh, the police uh, are outside, and he eventually just uh, commits suicide by cop. You know, am I yeah, missing well, anything? Missing. Yeah, the biggest. Yeah, the big that, the reveal. Yeah, the big reveal. Oh, you go ahead, Florian. Yeah, he, he 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 was about to shoot like the guy and his son because he was always so mad that the that the son was just studying while he was working at the store. He he had to work and the guy was just listening to his his audio tapes. And then when he tries to kill the son, the, the father shields him with his body. He he says, No, please, please don't kill my son. And in that moment he realizes that that this, the bond between this father and his son is, is greater than anything that his pathetic dad ever had because his dad killed himself while he was holding him. And it's just ridiculous how 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 it, how it changed him. And yeah, he, he just gives up and he walks into the police and, and he, he shoots blindly at them so that they'll kill him. Yeah. And uh, and then we get like a final scene that's like one of his lost videos where he's at the beach and he's just talking about how he, he loves his life and he's got a great woman and his uh, red pill, uh, you know, red, coach red pill is on his side and he's so happy about it. And it's, you know, what a bittersweet ending that he, he little does he know it's all about to come crashing down. Oh, that's the frustrating thing about that shot. That could have been a good way to end a better movie. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, now that we've done the little recap, I guess we can give our final thoughts. Um, Florian, I know you really love this movie, so I want to let you elaborate more on that. Well, I mean, I I just love all the the subtle ways that... that, uh, Subtle? I I think the movie lacks subtlety. Yeah, it's not subtle at all. I, mean, anyway. I, I just like the, the subtle ways in which he he messes up his life, but and and like the first time I watched it, I didn't pay that much attention. I, I you were like, playing oh, Bullfrog, wow. yeah, maybe. Yeah, I, I thought like, oh wow, everything's going pretty bad for this guy, huh? But then like, it's it's all it's all really his fault, and he he's just so stubborn and, and stupid, and he's always just messing it up. And, and I I thought it was just great, and you know. Like, even when he's all fucked it up, he's still there to, to pleasure himself and to masturbate. It's, it's yeah. If only he, if he would have utilized semen retention, maybe he would have uh, been a little less cuckoo. <laughs> or if he really? cummed more, he wouldn't have this problem. <laughs> either of those. <laughs> yeah. If he, if he came so much, he lost his sex drive. He would not have any yeah. issues. Yeah. We're yeah. just gonna pump up those masturbation numbers. You know? Did anybody else think that this man? Especially when he's shirtless and all fat and has man boobs, uh, resembles Ethan Klein. Oh my god! I thought it looked just like him in a lot of shots. I oh my god! No, I can't, I can't then see it now. Oh fuck! Yeah. yeah. In my oh, letterbox oh, review, I said this is the funniest thing Ethan Klein has ever done. Yeah, I mean that's probably true. <laughs> shit, this is not so funny now. Holy shit! Yeah, I, uh, I hope he appreciates being the star of Cuck. Oh, I think oh, no. he appreciates it quite well. You can just ask Keemstar. Oh, snap! Oh, we're just hitting all the, <laughs> all the right notes here, guys. <laughs> uh, just, Wicked Warrior. Just, just, oh, oh, go ahead. Yeah. What would be your, uh, like, your final analysis, now that we've heard from Florian why it's a masterpiece? Oh, I think this is... this. What's the frustrating thing about Cuck is that it could have been a good movie. 
Like it, it was pretty close. It, it, it looks really yeah. nice. Like it looks a lot better than Karen, which looked like a fucking you know yeah. made for TV movie. Like I think the coloring is on the nose. Like oh guys, do you get it? This movie is very depressing and everything. But I think it helps with the atmosphere that that this guy guy is kind of hopeless. But I think it really could have like focused on like when the dad like that the dad was shooting himself. That was kind of foreshadowed with some shots earlier in the movie. Uh, the fact that he was a kid when that happened and that fucked him up. I think that could have that you should have explored that. You could have explored that idea, or you could have explored how how a disenfranchised white man could actually fall prey into these types of websites and could lead them down a very undesirable path. Yeah, path or of, how of about, pure hatred and violence. Yeah, or 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 how about a, a guy who's desperate for attention gets it from a whore. And he acts surprised that the whore doesn't love him, and he goes to this downward spiral of revenge. No, it, it doesn't. It tries to mash all of those, and it's 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 not even like a, I don't think I don't think he even mashed it intentionally. If that makes sense, it's like like he was just trying to. Oh, what 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 good right wing caricature can we put in this movie right now? That that no. seems like what's happening. That, that's my impression, and, and I think some of those ideas could have been explored. And I think uh, Mumkey made a good point. It all boils down to how much the writer director could have respected the character. And I think if he put a little more like sympathy or a little bit more heart into the character, I, I think that a little bit more humanity. He doesn't yeah, even feel like humanity. a human. Yeah, he feels like like okay. I think what Florence is gonna say is like these people exist, which is which might be true, but. I think that's not an interesting movie to watch. It, it it's like the the humor, the pleasure I got from this movie is is him just fucking shit up and saying the gamer words and just acting like a yeah, total. Yeah, the N word was very uh, funny in the movie. Yeah, like the sand gamer and the gamer. He just <laughs> let that shit out. That's funny, but wow. just just watching him in a vacuum is just not entertaining. Like. When he was hitting the go- he was hitting the ground with a baseball bat. What the fuck is that? Like I don't understand what this shit does sometimes. Like, is that yeah, interesting on its own? It's, but, it's but not. The thing, but the thing is, with, with the woman, that actually makes a lot of sense because, like, he blames her that she fucked up his his right wing career. I, I think that makes her like. Uh, in his mind, a reasonable target for his revenge. So oh I no, think- I, get, I no, I get that. I, I think that yeah, I agree. I, I agree with that. I think it's more of like me sympathizing or empathizing with this movie. I think that would have elevated it a little bit more because it's just a caricature of what you think a right wing asshole would be. The, yeah, that's and it's all boils down to that. And he's not he's not likable. It's it's a torture to watch him. He, he has very uh, limited likable traits i think the only time i like i there was like genuine humanity from the guy was in the beach when he was thanking his audience right he was thanking uh, analog nick fuentes for accepting into the fold that was the only time he felt like a human being i think the movie can be fixed in my opinion by taking out the 30 minutes of jerking off and instead (laughs) introducing a solution. Well, a, a solution. <laughs> yeah. Like the movie loves to point out all the problems, but it offers no answers. Like maybe introduce. You know, the character could have gone down the right path. I mean, maybe there's a character who influences him, and he has a choice to make: Do I pursue this mm-hmm. alt right shit, or do I, you know, try to stop being hateful? And he, the character needs to make the active choice to take the wrong yeah. path. And that would lead to a greater sense of tragedy. Yeah. Right. I think at, at least he be- would have had a chance, and he rejected yeah. it. Yeah, and that would make it sad and tragic. And, and yeah, but instead, I it's just what- a lot of cuck porn and jerking off, which is yeah. not a great film. Yeah, I, and- I guess the choice would have been better. Yeah. Yeah. I guess it's funny how it all started because he uses like the checkbook from his mom. But yeah. It didn't even make sense. Like the biker dude could have just said, "Yeah, okay, I'll take that money out of your next paycheck from you." Yeah, that's yeah, okay. That's a good point. I was thinking of that too, Florian. Okay, what just get name. it from my next cucking. <laughs> like, just just uh, just get it from my next gig. Oh yeah, that's a good point. Well, I think uh, all been prevented. I think it's time for us to answer the age-old question: Is this movie Kino, and would you recommend it? A uh, Florian go. Yes, I, I think anyone who's 
probably 18 should, should watch and enjoy this movie okay don't don't take it too seriously just enjoy the, the the drama of this man who just can't do anything right okay it's like a a comedy of errors but it's also very deeply tragic and i just can't recommend it enough <laughs> I would say it's uh, it's decidedly not Kino. It does not need to be two hours. I know I always complain yeah. that movies are too long, but if this was like a, a crisp 85 minutes, it would have been so much fucking better. Uh, the, it's just a caricature of a character rather than, you know, a deep... A national character. Yeah, instead yeah. of like a deep analysis of something that's going on in society. And uh, I, I think it could have been a lot better. So... Uh, I'd say watch it if uh, you're morbidly curious. You will get a kick out of it. I certainly did. I'm not <laughs> mad that I watched it, but it's a lot of a dude just jerking off. Yeah. What about I, you? I think Monkey said, I think Simeon said something nice there. Like the character is not really interesting or well thought out. I think if you're going to do something like the Joker or like Taxi Driver, any of these like like disenfranchised characters i think the the main character should be interesting and sympathetic and he's just not any of those and i think it's worth watching just to get to the 30 minutes where it just goes off the rails and <laughs> just goes full gamer which as as a gamer myself i, I appreciate just going full, full gamer just 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 say the gamer words bro sand gamer 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 just, just drop them and it just it's fun it's not funny because of the main character it's funny because it it's so over the top it, it doesn't real it's like an over the top comedy that they're playing so seriously i think mm -hmm. that's that's the funny thing about it and i think uh as a if you're gonna watch this as a film student i think you can see some like good ideas just executed poorly and wasted in this movie yeah and I, it could use it could have used a little bit more heart yeah Oh, can I just say before before everything? It's like he could have it could have been, it actually could have been more tragic if he shot the kid and the dad at the end. That would have like made it giga sad. Well, at least didn't have to at least that halfway resembles like a character arc because he chooses not but, to kill the brown kid who he's hated the whole movie. Yeah, but the thing is like why he doesn't kill it comes at the end, so it it feels like an ass pull. That, yeah, that's what just they throw that in at the and, end. Oh, he hates it because his dad is a piece of shit, and what? And the sand gamer's dad is not a piece of shit. Mm -hmm. Oh my god! That's like, oh, come on, bro. Like you could have set that up earlier, I think. Anyway, well, that's boys, we have a big decision to make ourselves because us three, we love these meme movies. We watched the Karen movie. We watched the Cuck movie. Now we have to figure out what we're going to come back in one or two or three months to review next. Is there anything you guys are just dying to uh, take a look at? And can we watch um, uh, Bruce Willis' last movie before he, before he retired? Uh, which that one? Is it? Like, I think there was, there, like, he had, like, a, a string of bad movies just to, like, um, to fuel his... I think he really just made it to make make as much money as he could. Just oh yeah, I think he he has like a debilitating mental illness and he has yeah. to retire from acting. So yeah, he was in a lot of like straight to streaming dog shit movies. Um, like, is, is there one in particular you really want to look at though? Hmm. I did, I'm just suggesting that if you if you guys have any other like shitty movies that you can watch, that would be fun. Uh, I, I, yeah, it's like kicking, I don't feel like making, yeah, in retrospect, I don't feel like making fun of him. Yeah, I like Bruce I Willis, know, and, you yeah, know, yeah, if yeah. I were him, I would, I would also show up on set for two days to yeah. make a million bucks. Like, I, I can't be angry at him for making shitty movies, yeah, it's not yeah, his fault. Okay. Yeah, um, so I, I, I rescind that, I take that back, <laughs> let's not watch. What about, uh, what, what about Paul Blart and Mall Cop? You guys like that movie? <laughs> Never you know what? Why? Why the fuck not? Sure. Wait, you've sure. never well, seen that movie, Florian? Wow, I, I guess I'm missing out. Huh? Well, when I that movie mean, would, came out in theaters, I was probably like 12 or 13, and I fucking loved it. And I, I might still love it. So oh, maybe, yeah, maybe we should uh, maybe we should watch it and see if it holds up. Have you seen yeah, that? Yeah, sure. sure. 
I have not. I have not. Oh seen my it. god! <laughs> wow, this is gonna be great. It, Blark, Blark virgins. <laughs> oh my yeah! If you guys really like it, we can watch Paul Blart Mall Cop two after. Oh my god! There's yes. a sequel. There's two of them. I need it. Oh my and, god! Okay, it has to be one of the greatest movies ever. Uh, I guess uh, everybody, you know, the the three amigos here will be back sometime soon to review some uh, Kevin James Kino. Oh uh, hell yeah! Anyways, um, there's this really cool meme movie that's called Cracker, where uh, oh. where na- where a Nazi travels back in time, what? and then it turns out that slavery is reversed, and now white people are the slaves, and the black people are the masters. Oh, we have but, to watch oh that for god. sure. Oh my god. Yeah, I, I, oh, I would love to watch it, but I, I fear that it may not have come out yet, or oh. it may never come out, so so oh. that is a, a big tragedy, but the trailer got me so excited. <laughs> oh, what a Why would it not come out? I don't know. I feel like it might have just been like a, a, a meme or a, a false uh, flag. But yeah, if it if it comes out, I would I would be so happy. Yeah, keep your eyes peeled, Florian, because I would love to watch Cracker for sure. Oh my yeah. god, that's <laughs> that's, that's, that's like black Pichino. people's gamer word. Yeah, <laughs> that's like. Oh my god! So we have buck breaking and Cracker. That's the spectrum, guys. <laughs> <laughs> that's the opposite ends of the spectrum. Oh my god. <laughs> All right, you guys have anything you want to plug? Everyone check out Ballfrog. Me and Mumpkey will have probably done a stream by now playing it. So That's right. Everyone, everyone get hyped for Ballfrog, but watch out. It's a very hard game. Difficult control, so yes, be it's careful. Very difficult. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Weekend, you had a, a Morbius video that came out recently I, that I really I enjoyed. Did. Oh, thanks, man. Thank you for watching it. Yeah, yeah I, I, of course yeah. I watched it. Thanks, man. I, I actually am going to plug. I think I'm going to do a deep, deeper dive into cock. I think the cock mines can still be can still have 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 some ore left for me to just. Wait, we're going to get an official weekend warrior review of this film. Yeah, an analysis of cock. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I think good. I, that's the title. Yeah, and I, I, I'm going to collab with our our good cock friend Kino Corner. So Kino Cockner. So. <laughs> <laughs> so there you go uh, that that's in the works right now so and i've got a go, link kid. to his channel in the description go check it out and i think that's it for our cuck review unless you guys have any final words uh well, writers uh, go ahead sorry go ahead sorry there, there's one more me movie that i really would like to review but i don't know if you guys are into it it's called iron sky it's a movie where nazis have hidden away on the moon and and they are making a return and they're invading the earth and florian knows a lot of nazi movies yeah i mean florian like... it sounds like we should review all the meme nazi movies like uh <laughs> what's it called look who's back where hitler comes back Oh yeah, for sure. That one is great. Yeah. Too, yeah. Any movie with Nazis or Hitler, Florian is down to clown. Well, okay. if, they're, if they're funny, yeah. <laughs> I mean, every Nazi movie is funny. They have Nazis in them. <laughs> yes, uh, history's greatest clowns. <laughs> uh, weekend. What were you gonna say? Uh, I think if you're a writer, you shouldn't be afraid of going uh, going out of your comfort zone. I think Cuck is an example of that. That a writer just shoehorned this character in and he was afraid that maybe if he made this caricature of a right winger be more sympathetic his people in so many quotes would just shit on him but it turns out this came this movie released the same time as joker and nobody fucking watched it because there isn't even like a, an uh, how many like the, the theater releases it, it got zero i think mm. nobody watched this so don't yeah, be afraid. I did see that it has like a 40% on Rotten Tomatoes. So even the people, like the choir he was preaching to, did not appreciate the film. Yeah, so there you go, kids. Don't be afraid to just, just a little bit, just see where it leads you. Doesn't mean you're a piece of shit if you explore a piece of shit person. That's right. You know? Bye, everybody. Goodbye. Bye-bye. <laughs> <laughs>